What's going on YouTube? My name is Skill37 and today I'll be discussing by request my impressions of the Grand Theft Auto 5 gameplay trailer. So I'm going to be blunt like I always am. Things are right actually. I'm somewhat excited for this Grand Theft Auto. Why? Because it looks like they finally decided to stop caring about these, you know, the next gen graphics and the physics and all that other shit and concentrate more on what made Grand Theft Auto Grand Theft Auto in the first place. The fun gameplay and the silly nonsense and all the other cliches that you find in Grand Theft Auto with it pretty much being over the top and you know outrageous and sometimes crossing that invisible barrier. You see, when I played Grand Theft Auto 4, I was like, ah, this game, man, the, the physics suck, the, the controls are shit, the, Nico's a horrible character, we're in fucking. We're seriously back in fucking New York. Every game's in fucking New York. So that was like, okay, this game's pissing me off. Now, granted, I'm not the biggest fan of Grand Theft Auto. You know, the previous Grand Theft Autos were great. San Andreas was really fucking fun. Vice City was great. Grand Theft Auto 3 was phenomenal, okay? So when Grand Theft Auto 4 came out, I had hopes, and it ended up fucking sucking. The online was pretty cool, but that's about it. I couldn't really play the online for more than a few weeks because on the PFC version, it just lacked a lot of features the Xbox 360 version had. And of course, Grand Theft Auto 4 came out when the PS4, excuse me, when the PS3 was like really lacking in features, making the online kind of just meh. So, what I saw at the Grand Theft Auto 5 trailer pleased me. I like the fact that the game actually does look pretty sharp, despite me not not despite me wanting them to concentrate more on gameplay and graphics. The game does look sweet visually for an open world game. I like the fact that there's three characters now. I act, I really like this concept of being able to switch to them on the fly. I like what I saw when they tried robbing a bank, I believe, they, you know, they they broke into a building and, um, you know, dude jumps in with the rope, takes the guy hostage, and he switched from the character and you snipe motherfuckers. That was cool. And then when they robbed the bank, it reminded me of Payday, they can do the whole going professional, just going guns blazing, car customization, and other things are to be expected. So with the trailer, they showed a lot of things that we come to expect from Grand Theft Auto. Therefore, I wasn't all my. I wasn't like, oh my fucking god, you can do this. Oh my god, look what they introduced. No, actually, they didn't really introduce that much in the trailer. Just showcase how well the game is looking and you know the new direction with three characters. I like the diversity of the three characters. Okay, I think all three of them are somewhat interesting. Um, I like the fact that at the very end they tease the shit out you with this multiplayer that you just see a dude watching all the names go across the city and then a fucking jet comes out of nowhere. And I was like, wow, is, is this game going to be like the online? Is it, is it going to be similar to like Saints Row and just be like over the top fucking nonsense? So a lot of people seem to be very excited for the Grand Theft Auto 5 trailer. Some people I know were not moved at all or phased by it. I feel that despite Grand Theft Auto 4's high ratings, Rockstar knew they had a lot to improve on because gamers like me that aren't blinded by bullshit that Rockstar sometimes does in their games to you know to hide from the mistakes they made. Grand Theft Auto 4 to me it made way too many mistakes. I don't care how many fucking nines and tens it got. The game was shit. It was boring. It was lame. And hopefully with the people like me talking shit about Grand Theft Auto 4, Grand Theft Auto 5 really you know takes it back to what made them pop in the first place. It's just just that gameplay. That's what you need in an open world game. It's all about that gameplay, and hopefully it's polished, and hopefully it doesn't fucking suck. Take it back to the good days of Grand Theft Auto 3, Vice City, and San Andreas. Just give me some over-the-top nonsense and bullshit. What I hope is uh, with three characters comes three different styles of missions. Like, I hope when I play as a black guy, I do some over-the-top, you know, in-the-hood shit. And then when I play as a fucking psychotic guy, I do a bunch of ultra-violent missions. And I hope when I play the other guy, I do some, like, high-class style missions. Or like you know, like I want every character to have like their own game in a sense, their own environment. I want them to have their own setting. I want each character to deal with their own problems, despite them being together at times. I want them to have like their own game and stuff. Like yo, you know, when you play as a black guy, you always gotta deal with the gangsters and all the other bullshit. And then we play as this guy, you always running from the police. I actually, I, I hope it's like that. Maybe it will. That'll be fucking cool. Can't talk much about the about the online because they didn't really show much. But from that. Couple seconds of show, it looks like it's going to be quite fucking hectic. So there you go. That's my first impressions, impressions in general of Grand Theft Auto 5 gameplay reveal. As always, if there's anything you want me to talk about, just hit me up on YouTube in the comments or PM or hit me up on Facebook. I should best bet. 
and just leave me a request and I'll see about getting to it. As always, thank you for your continued support. Subscribe, favorite, like, blah, blah, blah. Deuces.